Good morning, class. <laughs> Hello, I'm Keith Moore. Welcome to Faith School. Uh, we're ready to get back into the Word of God again and let Him build up our spirit and feed our faith and bring us to another place in Him. We've saved you a seat right on the front row. Come on in here, get your Bible, get your uh, something to take notes on, and prepare to have your mind renewed, to have answers come into your life, direction. Uh, we're not just going through the motions here. We're believing for real changes by the Spirit of the Lord. Let's uh, pray and release our faith for exactly what the Lord would have come out today to come out. Father, in Jesus' name, we agree, all of us in uh, Faith School broadcast all over the world, we're asking for utterance. We're asking for your anointing, eyes that can see, ears that can hear, hearts that can receive. Give us answers today, we pray. Show us your right ways of doing things, and we'll give you the praise and thanks for every good result. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's uh, go into our textbook today, into that great Hebrews 11 chapter. Uh, if you're going to talk about faith, then that's one of the great places to go. Hebrews 11 uh, talks about faith throughout the entire chapter. And we'll begin in verse 1, Hebrews 11, 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, by faith, the elders obtained a good report. Um, through faith, verse 3 says, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Let's read that one more time. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Uh, right off the, the bat, here, as we say, the, the very beginning of this chapter, he goes into describing how God himself has used faith. It, it traces back to the beginning of the Bible, the book of Genesis, where it says God created the heavens and the earth. And here we're told the means by which he did that, how he created not just our planet, but the worlds. He did it, the Bible said, by his words. He did it by his words. And so, having told us the definition of faith in verse 1, just by verse 3, he's talking about words, words and faith. Uh, sometime back, and you can go back into the archives and, and watch them if you want to, we talked about why faith, why is faith so important? And we saw that God himself functions and operates by faith. And he has told us to be imitators of him and live by faith and walk by faith just like he does. So uh, uh, how does he do it? We see in the book of Genesis that God said and it was. He spoke and it became. In fact, let's look at that. Let's go over to the book of, of Psalms, if you will. And... Uh, Notice how the Lord operates in this. He, uh, he has always functioned like this, and He's told us to function like this. It is the way, um, eternal way, that things have been done by Him. In um, Psalm 33 and 6, Psalm 33 and 6, it says, By the word of the Lord... Were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. 
Verse 9, for he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Now this is amazing. And it is enlightening. It is instructional. Now I know that there are a number of people who uh, don't believe this. They say, well, you know, um, there was the Big Bang. And then, you know, the universe has expanded from that. Uh, okay, what caused the Big Bang? Uh, no one can answer that. So if you can't tell us what caused it, how can you be sure that God didn't cause it? Uh, faith is a choice. Um, sometimes people have said, well, I'm sorry, I just can't believe that. That's an untrue statement. By nature of what faith is, there's no such thing as a person who can't believe something. Belief is not based on proof, physical proof. Uh, belief, remember what we just got through reading verse 1 of Hebrews 11? Faith is the substance or the ground, the foundation of things expected it's the evidence of things that you don't see. So, uh, uh, some, you know, there's all kind of phraseology and, and thinking that's completely backwards and wrong. Like you hear, you'll hear people say, well, um, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, then that means they have no understanding of what faith is because if you see it, it's too late to believe it. You, uh, you can only believe it when it's not seen. Uh, he said, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hope, expectation, means it's not yet. It's the evidence of things not seen. So if it's faith, it's not seen and it's not yet. If it's already happened and you see it, you can't be in faith about it. You can't say, I believe it. You're looking at it. There's no belief involved. And so since faith has to do with things that haven't uh, transpired yet in the physical realm and things that you can't see or experience yet, faith is a choice. You're told something and then you decide whether you believe it or not. I mean, if it were, if, if it were me and I told you, you know, I, I went fishing uh, yesterday and, and caught a hundred pound fish, well, you have to decide, <laughs> do you believe that <laughs> or do you not believe that? And if you, you, could, you could look at me and say, I, I just can't believe that. No, that you're saying it wrong. You choose not to believe it. Faith is a choice. And so when it comes to the Bible, it's a choice. You, you read what the Bible says or you hear what the Bible says and then you make a choice. You either believe it or you don't. But don't say you can't, because you could if you chose to. Well, the account of creation in Genesis, it said that God said, light be, and light was. We see, according to Hebrews 11.3, the worlds were framed, shaped, molded into existence by His words. Let me read this again from Psalm 33, 6. Psalm 33, 6, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. This is, again, it is amazing. It's, a, it's astounding. If you believe this, and I do, uh, you look up into the night sky, and there are more stars uh, representing, uh, you know, suns like our own. Not representing, they are. And uh, you look at all of that, how did it get here? Well, you can say nobody knows. You can say it's one of those great mysteries. Or <laughs> you can believe this. How did it get here? God. The Almighty created the heavens and the earth. You can't prove he didn't. 
You weren't there. <laughs> Nobody you know was there. None of our instruments can see back that far or ascertain it and prove it. And besides that, already those who study these things are telling us most of what's there is unseen. They said there's, there's something there, there's matter there that you can't detect. Uh, exactly, there's something there. <laughs> the world, uh, worlds were framed by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Even the things that you can see are not made out of nothing. They're made out of material you can't see. This, uh, this desk that we see is made out of substance you can't see. And that substance is spirit. The Bible talks about it. That, uh, you know, there's the inner man and there's the outer man. And it con concerning a believer, it says, though the outer man is growing older, even decaying, Yet the inner man is renewed day by day. It's a wonderful thought that uh, we never age on the inside. That no matter how, what's happening to the body, and because the body has not been changed yet, uh, it's aging. But the inner man, even though we can be developing, we're not aging. We're not growing older. We're not wearing out. We're created in the likeness and image of God, a new creation. And God, even though He's ancient, He's not old. <laughs> what do you mean by that? He's been around for eternity past, but forget this idea of someone sitting on the throne with a long white beard and long white hair. I mean, if there's any white to it, it's glory and it's not age. And those of us born again, new creations in Christ Jesus, our spirits are this way also. We're not, we're not aging on the inside. Um, and it helps you when you realize this uh, to relax because I'm going to be around forever. This body is not going to be around in this state forever. Thank the Lord. It's going to get changed one day. But even uh, when I live my life out down here and I slip out of my body, that's called death, and you go home to be with the Lord, I'm still very much alive. I just relocated. And soon and very soon, the Lord's going to change the body and it's going to be immortal, the scripture says. Uh, we have a, an amazing future ahead of us. But coming back to where it began, it all happened when God said, He said, light be, this be, this be or become. Now, if you believe that, then you, you see how it worked, but so many times people have not understood He wants us to operate this way too. We're His children. We're made in His likeness and image. And He has made us speaking spirits with a free will. This is amazing. So everybody say it out loud. I am, I am made, in the image of God. made in the image of God. I am, I am a, speaking a speaking spirit with a free will. With a free will. Now this, this is something. This this is like God because we can choose whatever words we want to choose as a free will and we can put faith into them and release faith. Most have not learned how to do it to any extent or degree. That's our fault, not His. But this is how we're made to function and this is what we're capable of and this is our future. A speaking spirit like the God who created the heavens and the earth. When we learn this, we'll start speaking to things. <laughs> we'll start speaking to our bodies. We'll start speaking to our finances. We'll start speaking to situations. Now, 
you know, some places they'll try to lock you up <laughs> for talking <laughs> to inanimate objects. And they'll say they've lost it. But uh, I reckon that's what they would have said about Jesus. Because if you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he spoke to things, didn't he? He spoke to spirits that you couldn't see. He spoke to trees. He spoke to winds and waves, didn't he? Yes. He did. Is he our example to follow? The Bible says yes. It says, if you, Jesus said, if you believe on me, the works I'll do, I've done, you'll do also. And greater works than these shall you do because I go to the Father. If he did what he did as God, how can we believe that? Because I'm not God, you're not God. But if he did what he did, walking the earth, speaking to these things, if he did that as a man, anointed with the Holy Spirit, and you know that's the case because no miracles occurred until the Spirit came on him when he was baptized. If he did that anointed by the Holy Spirit, and he would anoint us with the same Spirit, and he's given us authority in his name, we can see the glorious possibilities of walking as he walked and speaking like he spoke and seeing results like he saw. Is it exciting, class? <laughs> by the Psalm 33, 6, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Verse 9, for he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. And the scripture tells us that to this present moment, all things are upheld by the word of his power. What does that mean? What kind of power does it take to keep our star burning? <laughs> what kind of power does it take for the core of our planet to be maintained? And, and the forces of gravity. What kind of power? And this is just one solar system among so many. What kind of power does it take to keep all of this functioning? It is the power of the Almighty God, whom we say is our Father. <laughs> my, my, my. And we're even invited to come boldly to the throne from which all this power emanates. Glory to God. Now, you know, again, uh, there, are, there are people who say, I, I don't believe that. I, that's just somebody wrote some things down and, no, I'm a, I'm a man of science. I'm a, I'm a woman of science. I, and I don't, I don't see any proof of any God. Well, that's because you don't believe. Uh, many have had the idea, show me and I'll believe. But that's not how God said it works. He said, and the psalmist said, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The proverb says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. With God, it's none of this, prove yourself to me and I'll decide if I believe in you or not. Uh, that's the created telling uh, the creator to satisfy uh, what I do it the way I want you to do it. And that's just not the way it is. That's not the way it works. With him, with God, if you don't show him any respect or any acknowledgement, you won't get any light or any understanding. Spiritually, you'll be blind and, and deaf and and, and unable to understand or perceive. But the moment you show some humility, the moment you show some respect, the moment you say, Father, I acknowledge you. I believe in you. The moment you do that, he'll begin to reveal himself to you. And the more you believe in him, the more of his uh, presence you'll experience. And, and the scripture said, the psalmist said, in, in your light, we see light, and you go from faith to faith and from glory to glory. 
And I just, uh, I sense that there are people right now that are in the midst of making this decision. And so uh, I want to lead you in a prayer. Acknowledge your creator right now today, and you will find the, the spirit realm open up to you. Your eyes will be open. Uh, like Paul of old, it'll be like scales fell from your eyes. Your heart will be open. And what was unreachable and what not able to understand or touch will become very close and very near to you. Let's pray this prayer out loud together, class. And, and, and don't, don't just watch this silently. It's time to just quit being mental and open your spirit up. There is a God. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He sent his son to pay the price for the sins of the world. And you can receive him right now, and he can be more real to you than your own breath. But you must show him some respect first. Pray it out loud, saints. Father God, Father God I, acknowledge you. I acknowledge you. And no matter what others may say, no what others may say I choose to believe in you. I choose to put my trust in you. I acknowledge your word. I say it is true. And I thank you for allowing me to exist. I thank you for sustaining my life and giving me Time, time and opportunity, and opportunity to, know you. to know you. I confess, I confess your, son Jesus your Son Jesus as Lord and Savior, as Lord and Savior my, Lord, my Lord, and I receive, and I receive all, you've done for me. all you've done for me. Reveal yourself to me, please. To me, please. I, desire to I desire to know you and experience your presence. Come into my life. Manifest yourself in my life. And I'll give you the praise. I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the thanks. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I can sense that some great things are happening. Hallelujah. Great things, good things. It's so wonderful. You know, it's sad that so many are so blinded and hardened by their own pride that they can't see what's right in front of them. Something is holding our feet to the planet. Something is keeping gravity working. Something is keeping our star burning. Something is keeping all of these stars burning. What is it? Nobody can tell us. They can theorize. They can guess. Nobody was there. There's a book that tells the story, <laughs> that lays it out exactly what happened. And oh my, my, have you read Genesis lately? If you, if you look back and see, the Bible said that the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. There was no light. It, there, there was no land mass uh, visible. It was completely covered with water and so dark without light. And then there came a voice. Oh, hallelujah. A voice resounding throughout uh, the universe, throughout uh, towards our planet. And it said, light be and power. Oh, what power was released. And our star came into existence. Spiritual light and natural light. We don't, I don't claim to understand all of it. But spiritual light and natural light and light was. And we're having daylight today. <laughs> Praise God. Because it is still continuing and it is still being upheld and sustained by the word of his power. Uh, Hebrews 11.3 again. Through faith. 
It was by faith that it happened. We understand the worlds were framed by the Word of God. The worlds were framed by the Word of God. If God framed all of these worlds by His words, we're told in Romans that we can rule and reign in life by Christ Jesus, and it is possible. In fact, it's our responsibility to frame our world with our words. His words in our mouth, spoken in faith, can frame our world. James 3 talks about this. We're going to be getting into this, I think, later in the week. But uh, how that the tongue is what we'd say today, it said like a, a bit or like a rudder. We might say today like a steering wheel. The tongue is the steering wheel of our life. And we can redirect things with our words. And we can uh, release faith that causes things to be changed. God framed the worlds with His words. We can frame our world with our words. Say it out loud again. I am, I am made, in God. made in the image of God. I am, I am a, speaking a speaking spirit with a free will. With a free will. Praise God. That means you, you can choose to say His words. You can choose, you know, people say all kind of bad stuff and, oh, I guess I'm, uh, this will happen to me and I guess this is never going to work and I guess uh, uh, we're just destined for this bad thing. Well, it doesn't take any more breath to say something good. Amen. You can say, I'm coming up. I'm coming out. Things are changing for us. Praise God. Well, that's it. Our time's up again for Faith School today. But come back with us tomorrow because we're going to get into this and we're going to learn how to frame our worlds by speaking God's words. Some things are going to change in our life. Hallelujah. Say it out loud. I live by faith. I, live by faith. I walk by faith. I, walk by faith. I, overcome the world by faith. I overcome the world by faith. I'm strong in faith. I'm strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Giving glory to God. 